Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. So, since last episode, I have done a bit of work. I've prepped up some stuff, um, mainly materials, like I made up some lumium and stuff, um, so it would make it a little bit faster for us today. But I did spend a while building. Um, let's see, up here I did start putting this up, but uh, I didn't get very far, because then I got sidetracked. A lot of, I got a lot, I got a lot of sidetracked. Now I started putting those in, uh, which is, there's something that's going to go there. But then I got sidetracked. <laughs> and then I started working up here. And, um, basically I'm going to put a top on this. But then I got sidetracked. And, uh, what I spent most of my time working on is this structure right here. Um, let me go sleep real quick. Just to get this stuff out of the way. And, um, anyways, this structure over here, it's, uh, it's actually not going to be four entrances, um, into the structure, just I was kind of working with the shape and figuring out how I want to do it, and it may change still somewhat, but, um, anyways, anyways, what this is going to be is it's going to be our refined storage area. Um, so I did start working on that, and, uh... And I gotta, uh, it was brought up in the comments that you can change the color of this. I've still gotta do that. I didn't get that done, but, um, I, I worked on this <laughs> and, and worked on some other stuff and did some pack testing stuff, which I'll, I'll talk about in just a second, which is actually very exciting. Um, but yeah, so this is just kind of a, a very much a work in progress at the moment. Something that I'm starting to throw together up here. So, oh, and I did a little bit of mining as well. A little bit. Um, and then I also started bringing this over and figuring out some stuff for the total layout of the base and how I was going to uh, want to put all that together. Um, you know, because this, basically, it's going to have a walkway that continues out. And I think I'm actually going to build a house right in here overlooking this lake and actually kind of coming out over the lake. But, uh, or the the pond, more or less, I guess, but, um, anyways, the exciting news related to the pack, uh, that I've been working on that I just want to, I want to mention really, really quickly, and it actually kind of ties into our build, since we're kind of doing a desert-style build, uh, it does kind of link into that somewhat, but for those of you that have played Minecraft very, very long, like modded Minecraft, you may be familiar with a dimension mod called Atom, A-T-U-M. Um, it's been around for a while, and for me, it's actually my third favorite Dimension mod. First being Between Lands, second being Erebus, third being Adam. And up until just recently, and this is a mod I check fairly often, um, up until recently, it was not updated. Well, Purely Platonic, which, um, is one of the members for the pack group, um, me uh, let me know the other day, Adam's been updated. And, um, it was, it was kind of a very exciting moment because like I said, I'd been kind of keeping an eye on that, but I had totally missed it. Um, cause it had just started recently getting modern updates, you know, into 1.12. So it has been updated and I have put it into the pack now and it seems to be working out pretty good. And so that mod and barring some like crazy tragedy, <laughs> that mod is going to be making it into the pack. Um, another one of the very recent additions um, of mods that's going to be making it into the list. And what's nice is I'm going to uh, be able to really integrate a lot of the clockwork phase mod progression into Atom progression because it just kind of makes sense, right? Clockwork phase is all about um, basically like green magic, like time controlling uh, magic and... Um, and it relates, it, it ties into, like, the sands of time and everything. And so it's going to work out really, really well with Atom progression, I think. Uh, just because it kind of fits the theme uh, very, very well. So I am super excited about that. I am very, very excited because I'm going to be able to have Between Lands, Erebus, and Atom dimensions all there. Among a couple others, like Abyssalcraft and Twilight Forest. Even though Abyssalcraft and Twilight Forest, the dimensions will not be visible. Just the mods will be there, but the dimensions themselves are not going to be there. Um, they're going to be used in different ways. So, but I am I am really really excited about that because like my three favorites are going to be in there, and uh, yeah, <laughs> they're going to have some added content, but the dimensions themselves will be visitable and uh, and and 
you can experience them. So super exciting stuff. Super exciting. Not to mention Bewitchment has been getting a lot of updates and that's just uh, very, very exciting for me. And, and <laughs> oh, it's just so great. It's so great. And uh, I did, I did, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did end up putting Thalmcraft back in there because, uh, I don't know, it's, it'll work. You know, even if it's not getting regular updates, it's still usable. And uh, then I added some add-ons to it and, uh, yeah, so exciting stuff. But anyways, anyways, um, what we're going to be doing today, sorry about that little tangent I had to go off on. This seemed to be the pack to do it because we're kind of doing a desert style build and it's a desert style dimension. It's all desert. Um, but anyways, anyways, what we're going to be doing today, okay, we are going to be picking up, at long last, we're going to be moving into, uh, where's it at, right here, starting refined storage, and I will say this will be a multi-episode project as we start into refined storage and actually working on it, and I will say also that there's going to be some things that integrate into working on our refined storage stuff, like the basic machine part automation that's going to probably integrate, well, I know it's going to integrate with that. Um, also, once we get the refined storage done, we can do the auto farming and processing. That stuff's going to go into there. We do need to start bees before long. Um, I actually had a comment about that, and it's something I've been meaning to do because it really won't take us but like five minutes to start bees, maybe ten minutes, I don't know, because we'll just set them up and get them automated so that we have combs coming in. We'll start that before long. But also the more generators... The sapling and apple power and the main power system will also probably tie into our refined storage work because once we get this up and going, we may find that we need more power. And once I uh, set up the actual refined storage system in there, we're not going to be setting it up right this second inside of there because that building is still very much in work in progress. And I've got to figure out how I want to lay it out uh, as far as the machines go. And of course, we don't have power over there. So at first, we're just going to kind of set it up and get it running and then and get some of the parts together that we need and then we'll get it moved over there so um, but there is going to be some things that integrate into our work with the refined storage stuff but once we get the refined storage stuff up and going it's going to be very very easy for us to start really heavy expanding we're kind of reaching that point in the pack where okay everything's been kind of coasting along and we're at the point where we're about to start automate like deep automation and that's when our stuff can really like explode and expand and we have a lot of expansion to do in this episode because we need like hundreds of carpenters and um, just you know I don't want to have to craft all those by hand so we're going to be using refined storage for that uh, which will then tie into setting up our some of our forestry building and, and really working in the factory a lot here soon and possibly moving all of this stuff and doing the stone mega expand there's just so much that's going to stem off from this so Anyways, with that said, uh, enough rambling, let's go ahead and dive into refined storage, and this is where we're going to be for today. Um, the first thing that we need to make is the controller. It looks like creative controller is not craftable. Um, so we're going to have to make plates, special infused iron plates and steel plates. Of course, with refined storage, we actually only need one controller. Uh, it's not like applied energistics where we need a bunch. We just need one. And so we're going to need to get ourselves... 12 special infused iron plates and 12 steel plates and then this should be yeah pretty well done it's gonna be crafting really really slow because this thing's using up power too um, and then in addition we are going to need to get ourselves four silicon plates not an issue this little section of automation here is probably the best thing that we've automated in this whole series so far because there's just so many parts there that I use so much. And then, of course, the liquids and stuff um, as well. And then we are going to need four enriched alloy. And then four 10K coolant cells. I've got to make some more cells. And I got to looking. I really need to make a rolling machine. Very, very soon. We'll get into that uh, once we get the refined storage. Because I could make 24 empty cells at a time instead of all this stuff. Okay, I got the other two enriched alloy being crafted. Most of this stuff is actually fairly quick to kind of bust through. Um, just some of the stuff is a bit more expensive. I wish you could put stuff into these, like, when you don't have everything, I wish you could, like, put, like, what you do have in there. Because I tend to like laying these out bit by bit as I get the stuff done for them. Huh. The Extreme Pattern Encoder. Um, Brantium. 
Neutronium Gears. Okay, that's going to be a little while. <laughs> that's going to be just a little while on that. So, alright. Let's, uh, that. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we want to start with? The Neutron Reflectors. These actually aren't that bad. They require four pulverized 10H, four pulverized coal, and then a copper plate. And I think we just need two of them. And we also need our red alloy gears. We need to get cheaper gears. Even though it's not, they're not really that bad. Because you can pretty much use, like, just whatever materials you have around. What happened to my crafting table on a stick? I cannot figure it out. I'm going to have to make another one of those. Actually, let me check the recipe for something. We might whip up something really, really quick from Batania. Which is kind of like the upgraded crafting table on a stick. Okay, it's just three mana steel and a mana pearl for that. Okay. Okay, so there is our assembly halo. Oops. And we got the segments blue. Oh, there's a quest for that. Oh, by the way, I got these quests done. Uh, that's something, I almost forgot about that. Because I did that a while back. Or, it was between this episode and, la or, and the last episode, but... Um, we get a block of luminescence and a silver coin. Awesome. I will take it. Um, and then the main quest line, basically I was making some drawer upgrades. And filter module, we get a filter module, a block of redstone, and a silver coin. The upgrade templates, we get eight iron spikes, four basic drawers, and a silver coin. Um, the storage module, we get a filter module, uncommon loot bag, and a silver coin. And then the first drawer upgrade, or the tier two one, we get another tier two, four inferium plates, and a silver coin. There we go. And then coming off of that, there's a quest for making a silver chest and then getting into the exchangers, which we'll do that. Because I'm actually going to need that whenever I go through and exchange all the grass for sand. It would be kind of nice to have that. So either that or the conversion one. Conversion one might be a little bit better uh, in truth. But um, anyways... Let's get back into refined storage work. Um, oh yeah, the neutron reflectors. I gotta make these. Okay, and we'll just drop these into the pulverizer, get those being crushed down, and then I think there's our two enriched alloy. Those are done. Um, my arms are so sore today because earlier today, when we bought this house, of course we just you know we just bought this house at the end of last year, and there was these two holly bushes. And uh, they were they were right up against the front, you know, the front there, and they were so tall they pretty much covered up the windows. And uh, oh yeah, we need two basic circuits for this. Uh, but anyways, we uh, we had been wanting to get those cut down, and the weather's warm enough, and so I got out there today with an axe and chopped those things down. I mean, they were, you know, they had like multiple big stems coming up off of them and um, they were actually fairly fairly large <laughs> to say the least anyways it i swear it wore out my arms um to get those cut because they were each one had four or five stems coming up off the base you know the trunk and uh <laughs> they were they took a bit they took a bit to get cut down of course, i got them cut down in like an hour but um, I haven't I haven't cut trees in so long with an axe, and uh, I know my my hand is going to be my right hand and my left hand both right there at that joint where the thumb meets. I can already feel like probably like blisters coming up um, <laughs> in there because it's been I guess it's been a while since I've done anything like that, but. Um, so my arms and everything are so sore right now. Um, let's see. Microchip tier twos. This is where we're going to need the Lumium. We're also going to need Lapis Plates, Nether Quartz Plates. Overall, it's not that expensive. We do need the Microchip tier ones. And I'm not sure if... Um, basic. That's that's expensive. Um, I'm not sure if I want to buy these. Oh, but it's two for one. Purchase. So regardless, I'm going to have to, uh, or no, it makes four. 
but then again, that's really lazy because I've already got, I've literally got the stuff laid out for making microchips right here. All I need to grab is four pieces of uh, red alloy and then some electrotein. I don't remember, it's been a while, I don't remember what I was making with it. Oh, we've got microchip tier twos. Okay, never mind, scratch that. Um, I guess I, yeah, I had made four and used one for something a bit back. Awesome. Okay, that's a big chunk out of the way then. And then we need the advanced coils, which is a bunch of gold, black quartz, and a nori. And then we can use our crafting halo, if I remember to grab all the materials. Um, okay, I'm going to need two of these, so I'm going to need four of these. Yeah, that's perfect. There's four of those. And then we're going to need our two advanced coils. Easy peasy. And drop those in there, and then we need the the neutron reflectors, and then we get into the refined storage cores, um, which are more involved in this pack, if I recall to make. Um, I think we looked at them last episode, and I know I'd looked at them before. I think they're a little bit more involved. Um, oh, I still didn't get that coal pulverized. That's fine. We'll get that going. Um, the construction cores, yeah, this is where we're going to need a bunch of lumium. I have a feeling that making lumium in bulk is going to be a thing that we're going to need to do. So we're going to need two of these, and then we're going to need uh, these right here, which are a little bit different. Well, we're going to start with these, I guess. Well, we're going to have to make this regardless. Um, okay, so... And I feel like I should just make a bunch of this. Iron, red alloy, silicon, and then upgrading it to this, the raw advanced processor... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab just a bunch of silicon plates and a bunch of silicon. Um, that's that. And then we'll just head over here. I guess I need to get more red alloy being made. And then I'm going to need four lumium plates. And what's funny is I spent time making up a half stack of lumium. And then I got to looking and we have two blocks of lumium in here. So that's 18. That's more than what I need for right now anyways. Um... To get this started and the processor binding of course there is this recipe but it's kind of a waste because slime balls aren't i mean none of this stuff is even expensive so only getting two more for this not a whole lot of point in this i don't think um i don't know if it was intended to i, I wonder if the recipe was intended to remove the slime ball and string recipe um and it was left or if that was uh, intended to be left in but of course if you don't have slime balls you can easily make um rice slime balls but we'll just go ahead and get uh four stacks that sounds good because i know it's something that we're going to need and um you know i actually have i don't guess i've is this all default is this like the new no that's craft rigor that's refined storage that's craft rigor. okay but i i've honestly i don't think i've played ref with refined storage since processor binding was even added uh to be honest <laughs> That's like a whole new thing to me. I don't know. But uh, anyways, we're going to need infused silicon. Uh, I don't know if I just want to go ahead and make... Let's see, the, the other one was silicon plate. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and... I've got 23 red alloy at the moment. Let's go ahead and do... Um, uh, I'm going to start with like 10 raw basic processors because um, I imagine we're going to be using them as we start moving into refined storage and I'm, do they not have the, the one thing that they used to have I can never remember the name of it but the, basically the thing that made all of this I don't see it so I'm guessing that all that was removed and replaced with the processor binding and now you craft it um, like in a crafting table then and then you just smelt it huh That is actually really interesting. Um, and then we're going to need this right here. I'm going to go ahead and make eight of these and get these going. Because it can't hurt, right? Okay, so let's see. The neutron reflectors. I've got everything for these. So we're going to go ahead and get those knocked out. Get those dropped in. And then we need... Uh, I need this stuff. I need to make for the advanced processors we'll go ahead and make uh 
six. That sound good? Yeah, let's make that. We'll go ahead and get those smelting up. Uh, that stuff's done. Have I already used a stack of processor binding? Really? Yeah, I guess I would have. Okay, well, there's the advanced processors. We can go ahead and drop these. These go on the top and bottom. Yeah. There's that. And luckily, this is only this is something that we'll only have to craft like once, maybe twice or three times, depending if we make subsystems or something. But uh, we won't have to craft this a whole lot or anything. And then we need the basic processors, which should be just about done. The lumium... I ah, didn't get the lumium going. Okay. And then we'll pretty much be home free. Okay, and then we're going to need to get... Uh, Eight circuit plates. Having those automated is really, really useful too. I mean, they're not expensive per se, but um, just having them on hand all the time is super nice. Okay, and we are ready. We are ready to do this. So, uh, whoops, uh, construction core, two of those, and then dun dun dun. Probably the most expensive thing that we've crafted in a while. I, I believe um we get our controller from refined storage there we go okay <laughs> now that we've got that the next thing we're going to need to make is going to be a um, crafting grid oh you don't actually tier these interesting uh these are a bit cheaper we're going to have still have to make a construction core and an advanced processor we've got those now uh oh we have not got into empowering, but it looks like we're probably going to need to do that. Strangely, though, the pattern grid, patterns aren't expensive. The crafters, destruction core, huh. interesting. Hmm. Of course, the crafting grid is the one that you tend to use the most, <laughs> to be fair. Whoa, it's a whole new thing. Uh, I'm going to have to get to dilithium. Uh -huh. Wait a second, what's the second recipe? Not actually sure what the difference is. Because they look identical to me. I don't know. But, um, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> wonder if we should start with a regular grid first, then. Um, we're going to have to make some of these. I've got to get more red alloy being made, for starters. That's that's what I need to do. Okay, that's going. Um, one thing, oh, one thing I need to look at. I'm curious what the storage discs take. Hmm. And do we tear these up? Is that how this works in this pack? Or... 4K storage part does take 1Ks. So 64K, okay, the 64K takes three 16Ks. The 16K takes three 4Ks. The 4K takes two 1Ks. Um, <laughs> but it takes dilithium for the 4K. Oh, no. But uh, it is a lot cheaper if we go with the carpenter. But we're going to have to get empowering to go with the carpenter. So honestly, I feel like we're at a point now where it's time we need to get into empowering. I mean, I think I've got... Oh, actually, let me check something. The This takes empowered and nori. Four of those. And we've gotten some empowered from exploration. Actually got some special infused plates. I need to use those things up, but I guess it's not a big deal. I actually have five empowered Inori, so we can pull off the crafting grid without necessarily having to get into empowering. And then we can get into empowering soon, but I want to overhaul the um, the power before we get into empowering because it would just make our lives a bit easier. And um, so that is something that I want to do here very, very soon. So there's that. That's no biggie. And then we're going to need the construction core. I'm going to need some more um, lumium plates. And then we're going to need the advanced processor, plastics, enriched alloys. And then it's bronze and special infused plates. And I tell you what, I'm probably just going to stick in like a stack of the special infused um, to go ahead and get that running. Because we're going to need it. 
you know, I can tell we're going to need it, so. Might as well just go ahead and get a stack of that going. I've got a couple stacks of the ingots built up, you know, because we crafted, like, over three stacks. Or, no, it was right at three stacks um, when we first got that started into that, so. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah, I forgot to grab a piece of plastic. Construction core. There's that. Let me go grab one piece of plastic. And then I think we'll have everything for the crafting grid. Kind of lucked out having that empowered Inori, I guess. But we're going to be getting into empowering here very, very soon, though. Um, because it's something that... <laughs> we're needing it more and more. There's so many things that I need it for, so... Oh, yeah, I need the, uh, one more thing that I need. One of these. All right. And then we can get our crafting grid. There we go. And we got the upgrading your grid advancement. Okay, and then we're going to need to get ourselves some cables. These are special infused iron, a bit of glass, and some red alloy with some silicon. And all my special infused is being turned into plates, so let me grab a bit of that. And let me grab some glass. Unless I already have glass in here, I do not. Okay. Okay, so there we go. And... Okay, dump these into there. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and make, like, 40 of these. Because I know we're going to need a bunch of them. And then, let's see, we've got our cables, we've got our grid, we've got our controller. That's the basics. Now, we're also going to need to get... Um, Let's see. Actually, I want to see what does it take, because this might really mess up my plans. Um, the network transmitter and receiver, okay, they're pretty much standard, and these are pretty much standard, so uh, it's actually not that bad to make. Um, the external storage chest, we're going to need improved processors, destruction and construction cores, that's going to be nether quartz plates. Lumium plates. I should probably just go ahead and make a bunch of these. I've got some nether quartz plates here. But something I should go ahead and do is make uh, some of these. There's four. And I'll get those smelting up. And then our upgrades. Not bad. Range upgrade. Speed upgrade. Crafting upgrade. Stack upgrade. Okay, these all seem to be, it seems like most of it's standard. Of course, Special Infuse is a little bit different, um, but it's actually cheaper, I want to say, because I think it was, uh, for the Special Infused, I think by default, it was one to one quartz and one iron or something, I think. Or no, maybe it's cheaper. But anyways, this is actually pretty cheap, the Elven Quartz method. So I'm actually, I'm really glad that we went for that, because... It doesn't take much more input than this. I mean, crafting through the portal is not that expensive. And, I mean, you can see all these other methods. Just not worth it. I'll definitely I'll definitely take that. <laughs> for sure. So, alright. I think we've got everything that we need for this. Let me set this down. Because I'm going to need the spice. Okay, and I want to get a external storage we're gonna need a destruction core I'm gonna need circuit plates okay external storage the destruction cores there's two of those and then construction cores there's two of those and I'm gonna have to dump some of this stuff a lot of the stuff I'm not even using at the moment and then we can get our External storages. Um, oh, let me go. Let me go grab two more chests. And we got the storing externally advancement. There's probably going to be a quest for this stuff that comes up, um, but we can always just break it off. And um, plus, we'll be making a lot of this stuff, uh, a lot of it, as time goes on. Because this pack's gonna. I mean, if you couldn't tell by the recipes, this pack automating is going to be a major part of this. And we're about to the point where we're going to be automating. Lots of things. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to connect up this area. Um, because this is pretty much where most of our stuff is stored. Then eventually what we'll do, for right now we're going to have the controller set up over here. but and, and the crafting 
grid. But eventually what we'll do is we'll go ahead and run the cables and the external storages and stuff like that. And then once we get to the point where um, we get all this stuff moved over to here and get our power system overhauled, then all we got to do is just pull off the controller, pull off the crafting grid, move them over there, and then set up transmitters and receivers, and then we'll be good. Because everything over here is going to stay plugged up the same way that it is. Um, and the reason, the reason I've actually been waiting to start into the auto farming is because I don't want to have to make drawer upgrades that many, the, the ones that I actually need. I don't want to have to make those manually, so that's kind of what I'm, what I'm waiting for. But we're going to take our external storage, we're going to put it down right there. I'm going to need more cables. I'm pretty positive of that. But then we're going to run our cables over like so. And I think that'll be the last connection that goes. That's the main reason I haven't finished the ceiling is because we've got a lot of overhaul that's about to happen to this building. And having the ceiling opened up, did that really stop up again? I'm going to have to set that up. Whenever we overhaul all this, I'm going to have to set it up so that that can auto clear itself. Because it's not really that difficult to do. Um, but we're just going to run this over. Plug our external storage right there. Yeah, I'm going to need more cables. Well, actually, I could probably get away with what I got here, but... Okay, there we go. So I've got 10 left. That's actually not that bad. Um, what we can do, because this is going to be temporary the way it's going to be set up anyways. Of course, i still got to get an external storage ran over to there. But I'll get that crafted up in just a second. What we'll do for now, um, do I have any LV stuff still available? Yes, I do. And I don't think it's going to take more than one connector and one cable. Um, so for right now, what we'll do is we'll just set up our controller setting say here and we'll put down a connector on it there and then just connect that to there there we go it's going to start building up on power and there we go we are now in business and so if i take the crafting grid and i set this up uh let's just put it right there okay so our crafting grid there we go we have all of our things accessible uh, that we have plugged up at the moment we've got everything accessible through here and then what I've got to do is I've got to set up one more external storage that's going to plug into this drawer controller and so I'll just go ahead and start running these cables over and I'll need to make another batch of cables which I think I'm out of red alloy. Let me get some more redstone and I can get that being made. I'm going to have to go mining for redstone again. I need to get, I need to get uh, redstone crops. By the way, what does it take to make redstone seeds? That is a tier 3. So we could pull it off. It's a little bit expensive, but it's actually not that bad. Um, the blocks for like redstone, blocks of redstone... Not actually that bad because of the fact that you get so much redstone every time you harvest it. Okay, I'm going to need uh, some more nether-infused plates or whatever. Nether quartz plates. And I've actually got... Well, I've got 45 and these make... Okay. And for some reason, I was thinking it was like four per plate or something. But <laughs> it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and just run all this nether quartz for plates. I have, I'm going to have to go get some more nether quartz. Um, but that's not a biggie. But right now this system, basically all it's doing is it's giving us easier access to all of our things. Instead of us having to run around this building to find things. And we can craft through here. Just a 3x3 three three grid, but that's okay. Um, it's going to be a lot more powerful in the coming episodes. So let's take a look. I want a... Another external storage. Oh, which I have... Uh, oh, wait, I can... Okay, so I'm going to need... Uh, oh, I need cables to make that. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let me actually steal one of these cables. Because I'll have this stuff ready to go. And actually, we've got some red alloy. Okay, we can make some more cables. Get the rest of this plugged up real quick. 
But the thing is, usually the transmitters and receivers take a bit of power. I'm not sure because you can set how much power it takes. And I'm not sure what it takes in this pack to run those. But we'll find out here in just a moment. So, um, let's see. External storage, destruction core, and construction core. And then can I get some more cables, please? There's... 30. I'm going to go ahead and make all of those because I know we're going to need them. We're going to need a lot of these uh, as time goes on. Okay, and then we can get our external storage. Right. What am I, how am I missing? Oh, it's not pulling stuff from my inventory. How strange. Wait a second. Am I just about out of special? I wonder why I didn't place that one. I have no clue. Anyways, and we can dump stuff in here, which is great, too. Okay, so there is our external storage, our third one. Not our last one, but our third one. We'll go ahead and plug that up. We'll finish bringing this cables over. And, of course, refined storage, you don't have to worry about channels and minima or maximum channels per line or anything like that. Refined storage is basically like the boiled-down easy mode of applied energistics. Of course, applied energistics isn't super difficult, but it does take some thought when you're setting it up. Refined storage, just run cables to everything and you're fine. Uh, and that's, that's really all there is to it. And uh, just knowing what, what plugs up and what it, you know, what everything does and everything like that. But we can see that our usage right now is only seven RF per tick. So it's really not, uh, not that expensive. We've got 45 cables, one crafting grid, and three external storages um, across the entire system. So it's not very much. Cables don't require anything. The, the crafting grid is one RF per tick, and external storages are one RF per tick. Uh, or crafting grid's four, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so now that that stuff's in place, the 4K took... No, it doesn't take in power. For some reason, I was thinking the 4K took in power. Uh, is it the... Or do none of them take empowered? Okay, none of them take empowered. They just get more and more expensive. Terax they can get. I'm not familiar with that. But this pack, actually, the um, the, the storage parts, it's um, probably the cheapest I've seen in any expert pack. I know it looks intimidating because you have to make it in the... Engineer's workbench, or especially the carpenter. The carpenter method is super cheap um, in comparison to most pa most packs because each of these, like the one guy, really not that expensive to make. We're going to be making a lot of red alloy ingots, but it's actually super cheap. The four K only requires two two one Ks, whereas by default, default sto uh, refined storage recipes, it takes three, and then in most expert packs, they do four. That way the math actually makes sense because you got the 4K uh, taking 1Ks. And then the 16K does require 3, but most expert packs have it at 4 once again. And the 64K normally is 4. Um, in expert packs it's only 3, which is more like the default recipe. So it's actually it's actually not very expensive to get into refined storage, I don't think. Um, I think the, the biggest part was coming upon that. That's like the only thing I've seen really that requires any level of gating because uh, all these other grids are cheap. All right, so let's pop over. Uh, one thing, well, let me see something. The disk, man uh, not disk manipulator, the disk drive. <gasps> disk drives require empowered Restonia plates, which are one-to-one. -one. I don't know if I have any empowered Restonia. I do not. So we're going to have to get into empowering before we can get into disk storage. I was actually wanting to start that this episode. Let's see. I think... Grab that. We'll get that going. I think what we're going to do is... I know it's about wrapping up point for this episode. So we got the bare basics down. And we can actually access all of our stuff a whole lot easier now. So there we go. Um, and we have access to all these things. Just from the click of a button, basically. Next episode. We're going to have to lay some groundwork to really continue with uh, the refined storage work. The first thing being, we're going to have to get into empowering. But before I do that, 
Like I said, there's going to be a lot of interlap here. We're going to... Um, I'm going to go ahead and mark start refined storage off. We're going to continue building on it, but we've started it, you know. Um, and honestly, the worst part of it is done. We've got the controller. We've got the crafting grid. Once we get the empower, none of the rest of this stuff actually seems that expensive. I mean, the disk drives, aside from the empowered restonium, which once we get empowering, that's only one redstone um, to make that, you know. Um, and the recipe for empowering this isn't very expensive. So, bronze and special infused iron, I mean, that's all cheap. Electrotain, there's an advanced processor, which really isn't that bad. None of that's really expensive. And the disk drives, or the storage parts, are cheap in this pack. Upgrading them, that's one thing I didn't look at. Upgrading them, actually, to the DS is the default recipe. So, uh, most of this stuff is fairly default-ish. Um, I mean, you could see even the recipes are ref the basic refined storage recipes. The crafters are not really expensive because this is default uh, recipe. It says it's added by Craft Tweaker, but I could have swore that's the default. Unless, I think maybe it's just three paper, three cactus green, three redstone or something. But, um, yeah, I mean, this, this really isn't that bad. And so, I mean, we can, I can't see anything. That's going to stop us from just automating all the things once we get this up and going. Pretty much steamroll through refined storage from what I can tell. Once we get empowering. And then we have extreme patterns. That's going to take neutronium though. That's for end game anyways. So. But yeah. Yeah, so we'll start, uh, we'll start moving into that. But next episode what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to overhaul the power system first. Um, which... Getting that started is not going to be that bad, I don't think. But this right here, the main power system, we're going to have to work on that. Get that in place, and then we're going to have to start getting into empowering. And then probably the following episodes start really hitting into refined storage to where we get the stuff set up in the new building, and then we start working on some automation stuff. And, of course, the first things that we're going to be automating is going to be refined storage. So that will be the first things. And then this right here, basic machine part automation. That's definitely high on my list because, uh, of course, we're going to have to make carpenters for that. But the nice thing is, once again, getting into those empowerers, we're going to need those because we're going to be pumping out empowered Restonia gears like it's going out of style. Okay, that's not that bad. There's also that recipe. I'm not really sure, <laughs> I'm not really sure why that was added, but... Um, And then we're going to need empowered and nori plates. Hardened glass. Um, okay, that's not that bad. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so we're going to start really going crazy. Because once we get the carpenters, that means all these recipes that we've been having to craft through the engineer's workshop about to get automated. So, not to mention you get better output generally using the carpenters instead of using... Um, those tables. I mean, you could see there's 173 recipes through the carpenter, and we're going to be automating a lot of these. So that's where a lot of that factory is going to come into play, is setting up a ton of carpenters um, for automating all these things. So we're about to get into some crazy automation. So anyways, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.